Okay, hello guys. Uh, so I'm back to bring you a tutorial this time on how to make camo that looks similar to this. So let's get started. Uh, before we start, actually, uh, I want to tell you that I do not take, I do not claim responsibility for finding this and making this and being the one to know how to do this. I literally just found this five minutes ago on the internet. So. I'll put the link to where you can read it, and pretty much exactly what I did, um, in the description. So, let's get started. I'm gonna go to New, and you can really do any resolution you want. Uh, I like to do 800 by 800, just because it's a square, and I don't like rectangles. So, that aside, we're gonna go into Effects, and you may not have as many effects as this. This okay? This is okay. You're only using regular effects, so you're gonna hit clouds under render and scratch that. So you should have black as your primary and white as your secondary, which you already should have. You're gonna go down to render clouds and everything is stock, it it's should be fine. You can just say okay. So once that works then you can go not effects loops. Adjustments, which again you won't have Nearly as many as I do, unless you have plugins too. So you're gonna go to brightness slash contrast, and you're gonna turn the brightness. You just get, you can double click that and type in zero, and then you're gonna bring the contrast all the way up, so that it looks like something similar to this. You click OK. Then you go to distort and. You click crystallize. Wait, no, that's not what you do. You go to what is it? Noise, and then you hit median. And uh, you can just play around with this. I think it's fine, like the way it is. I think I'm not sure. You can play around and see what these do. Depends on like how. Blocky guy, I guess you kind of want your camo. Uh, I'm just gonna. This doesn't look right, but okay. Alright. Alright, that's good. Looks nice. Then you can go up to effects again if you want. This is not, uh, this is optional. This is not required. But you can hit crystallize. And I don't know. This kind of makes it look a little more like digital, I guess. Quality, I don't see, really see any difference. Uh, that, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. And then you can go, another thing you can do is distort dense, and that actually looks pretty cool. If you turn it all the way up, it kind of looks like zebra. I don't know, I just kind of find that funny. Not funny, but it gets good to know. Refraction, that is so much like derpy, it looks, I don't know. Roughness. Yeah, okay. Um, tension. Yeah, that's one of the main things. Uh, I guess I'll do that for now. And then to change your color, um, so your taller ones, taller, you're gonna click the magic wand right above the paint bucket, and your taller range should be 50. I think it's fine. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click one color, like one of the colors, either black or white, that you want to change. Then you're going to hold shift and click another area of the same color. And then from there you can go to your paint bucket and uh, let's just say I want yellow. Like goldish. More. Then you just click one area. Oh, no. You, click, you hold shift again and you click that area. I don't know if you have to use the magic wand or not, but just to be safe. Then you click your area and it should be all dandy. The only problem I notice is that it all looks, it's all the exact same color, so if you want you could try making like a darker or lighter color of the same one you already have, and then going into gradient and changing it to radial, and just kind of changing it uh, like from the middle. That could, might help you. So after that, it, well it's kind of choppy. Um, if you have like white that you don't want showing, before you do the color change, 
when you're selecting it, change your tolerance all the way up. Not all the way up, but like about to like 60 or 70 with your magic wand, and it should get less white or no white at all if you're lucky. So after that, you can hit Control D to unselect everything and look at your awesome camo. So I made two different kinds of camo here. Um, after that, you just hit save as. Uh, I have a different. I'll just make a new folder. Folder camo. And then you're gonna want to select your file PNG or JPEG. I usually do PNG, so I'm gonna go digital gold and just hit OK. That's fine. I save this one too. Might as well. Uh, blue tiger. Just because, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's not part of it. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, I do not take credit for this. I didn't make the tutorial. I'm just making it easier so you guys could watch a video instead of reading it. I don't know. You guys might find that more interesting. Uh, there are other things that it says you can do, like adding more layers. That is all in the link that will be in the description below but um thank you for watching hope you use your camo awesomely